Woo! Hey everyone, this is Derek from Daily Crypto Tracing. Let's come to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. This is our evening time, drive time update, guys and gals. And it's OG coming to you live with Ric Flair of Crypto, the Ice Ice Baby. And remember, now this is financial advice. It's just OG in the house, expressing his opinion and providing life changing education in the house guys so hopefully you're gonna love it i love it and guys and gals don't forget to go back and watch all my other videos we just dropped the huge bombity bomb bomb what just happened guys so you're gonna love it i'm gonna love it guys so let's get that right now and let's jump into it guys so what we're seeing right now we're seeing right now that uh, we got some huge dogecoin news guys and we've seen that history is in the making guys so we're gonna talk about what that history in the making is is and we're gonna we're gonna jump into it so let's jump into it right now let's take a look at the u.s markets right now ding 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 the bell has just, the whistle has just blown and the market has just opened, guys. It looks like the S&P falls as stocks struggle to maintain their comeback from the bear market lows, guys. So it looks like the angry bear. Ah, and we got Annabelle. Annabelle is back, guys. Ah, ha, ha. And it looks like we got the brilliant alien in the house. The brilliant alien. It looks like, no, 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 what, what? He looks like he's going to head back to Mars, guys. He's so tired of, you know, it's like shake and bake, shake and bake in the broader market, shake and bake in the crypto market. One one day we're up, one day we're down, and it's like we're up in the daytime, down in the evening, guys. So it is craziness in the house. So right now we're seeing that the U.S. markets are slightly down. I mean, I mean, the NASDAQ is down almost 1%. So, but it's, you know, there's still a possibility that we could go greeny green out there. So from that perspective, so it is Monday, guys. And, you know, we could be seeing a little bit of sell-off right now. So if you look at the heat map, that's why I got the sunglasses on. It is absolutely, it is absolutely carnage out there right now. We're seeing that Biddy has dropped below $21,000. What is going on out there Itty bitty baby. I mean, today we got as high as 21,600, and it's like, this is painful, guys. It's like a big kick in the, kick in the whoo, out there. So, you know, it's like, it's like we're going up, we're going down. We're seeing Ethereum as drop below $1,200 level. That is a Debbie Donner. What are you doing to the market? Why, why, why? OMG. But we're still got some positive nuts to talk about. And guys and gals, just remember that, you know, in 2000 and, uh, 2020 when bitcoin hit uh you know $21,000 we were in ex extreme greed guys at 92 now if we look at 2022 only 2 years later $21,000 is like uh, end of the world Debbie downer forget it crypto is dead bitcoin's going to not a zero donut out there goosey goosey guys and gals don't believe it sure we could go down to ten thousand dollars and if you go back and watch my previous video right here i talk about that i absolutely i look we got, we got the debbie down over we talk about that we absolutely talk about the contrarian uh perspective out there i mean some people are calling for ten thousand dollar bottom maybe some people are calling for all-time highs by the end of this year's maybe but what every single person out there agrees on is that by 2025 no matter what price you bought bitcoin at there's going to be all time new high and it's going to be crazy it's going to be insane and people are talking you know at least 100k 250k we got tim draper in the house saying 420k guys so who knows guys but definitely 2025 we're gonna see crypto blow up like crazy it's gonna be insane in the membrane you're gonna love it i'm gonna love it and that is why i ain't selling a thing because remember one bitcoin is still worth one bitcoin sure you may have unrealized losses you know if you bought it at 42,000 and you're at 21,000 now, you're down, right? You're down like 21,000 bucks, guys. So from that perspective, you're down from, from your initial buy price, but you haven't lost anything because you hadn't sold it, right? So you've got an unrealized loss of 21K. But if you've got the, if you've got the cojones, you got the moxie, you got the stones out there, and you can hold to 2025, you're going to be re rewarded, and you will be loving it, guys. And you're going to be laughing about, why did I panic? Why actually did I panic out there? So if we take Take a look at the real real life uh, fear and greed index. We're seeing the fear is down, de -de 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 down, down from where we were yesterday. This is a contrarian indicator. Contrarian indicator out there. Contrarian. So if you want to be contrarian, get it, get it, get it. So what you should be doing right now is when there's blood in the streets and people are panicking, people are wet in the bed and going, mummy, mummy, mummy. What you should be dying, but what what you should be doing is not dying. That's for sure. What you should be doing out there is is dollar cost average, you guys. And and, and if nothing else, hold. And don't look at your portfolio. If you're underwater, guys, don't put, don't be looking at your portfolio. And remember, you shouldn't be underwater 
if you bought at the beginning of 2021 and you took profits along the way, you should not be you should not be lower than where you started from in 2021. That is a fact, guys. So you know, I did take profits. You know, my rule is very simple. When I hit 200%, I take profits, guys. I take profits. I pay myself. I take out my original investment. So everything that I leave in is house money, guys. And that's what you got to do. You got to also diversify. 50% in Bitcoin, 25% in Ethereum. And 25% in big cap old coins, guys, and don't go down anywhere past 200 because if you do that, you're going to get wreckity, wreck, wreck out there. I've seen it time and time again, time and time again, because people, you know, we got these moon boys out there and think things are going to go up like 10,000 billion percent. Sure, occasionally we have these historical things that happen. I mean, it did happen with Shiba, Shiba Inu, right? Uh, before, if you got in early enough and you would be able to sell at the top, you made a ton. But that doesn't happen, guys. It does not happen. So right now, Bitcoin on the course of making history this month. So as you guys all know, is that Bitcoin is below the 200 weekly moving average. We all know that. And right now, we're seeing that if, if, if we can close the month of June with Bitcoin below the 200 weekly moving average, this will be a record for Bitcoin. It has never happened before in the history. We're talking history since the beginning of time when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. We have never seen Bitcoin uh, have one consecutive month below the 200 weekly moving average. This is going to be the first, guys. So you're witnessing history. History is about to be made, guys. And that is why I think that is a great time, a great buying opportunity. So from my perspective, you know, I still believe that any 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 opportunity to dollar cost average into Bitcoin is is, is good value considering where we're going to be in 2025. A minimum of 100,000 could be as high as 250 and could be insanely high as 420,000. Tim Draper announced. So from that perspective, I I, I'm, I, are you willing to have the moxie? Do you have the, do you have the moxie out there to hold till 2025? And that is why whenever you whenever you invest, you never invest more than you're willing to lose, guys. Because remember, it's time in the game, guys. Time in the game, and that's what creates a life changing wealth. There's some there's some people who think that they can day trade and and yeah, time the bottoms and time the tops and try to catch that falling knife. And 99% of the time, when you catch the falling knife, you catch it on the blade. Ouch, guys. So from that perspective, you know, and if, if Bitcoin goes down and continues to go down to 10K, I ain't faced because I'm going to be buying the farm. It just means more buku dollar, buku dollar for the OG when it hits all-time high in 2025. So I ain't bothered, ain't worried, guys. So let's, do, let's talk about some Dogecoin. Notes. So right now we're seeing for the price of Dogecoin right now, Dogecoin is still respecting, still absolutely respecting my trend line. We did get rejected at 799, but I ain't worried, guys, because we can see here that Dogecoin price analysis, a Dogecoin winning streak aims to reclaim the 077. So we've gone down a little bit, a little teeny tiny bit and that's because of the fact that bitcoin is going down right now so we're seeing that you know dogecoin price is rising for the fifth consecutive day challenging the combined resistance descending trend trend line and a 077 mark so if we can get a successful breakout if we can actually get a, a successful breakout from this point we're going to see nine cents incoming guys absolutely nine cents is incoming it's just a matter of time so the doge market val has appreciated 50 percent in nine days guys yeah doge doge Going to the, moon. the data RSI slope climbs higher in bullish territory, and the 24 hour trading volume in Dogecoin is about 1.15 billion, indicating a 146%, 146.5% gain. And we're seeing that there's been a lot of lot of whales who have been buying the dippy, the whippy, dippy, whippy, whippy. So that is pretty cool. And you can see here that today, today, uh, Dogecoin hit the uh, the 50 day uh, moving average, got rejected. That's why we went down because we hit hit the 50-day moving average we got a huge rejection and we come down to 0734 in the house so it's not been a huge rejection we're still seeing that on the daily the candle is green we're still uppity up guys we're still absolutely uppity up and i think we're going to try to retest that anytime soon so doge is still up on the on the 24-hour basis so that is not too bad guys and i think dogecoin is going to retest and we're going to continue going higher and higher guys so we're going to be seeing i believe dogecoin breaking out soon and we're going to get a retest of the 799 area and that is going that 799 area is the it coincides with the 50-day moving average and if we can break 
past the 50-day moving average, if we can break past the 779 area, then Doge is going to do a moonshot to 9 to 10 cents, guys. And if we can get past the purple rain line at 10 cents, we are going to go to the moony moon. It's just a matter of time. But so far, so good. Finger licking good, guys. Dogecoin is respecting my trend line like a crazy person out there. So I'm loving it. You're loving it. So if we take a look at the if we take a look at the BTC right now in the weekly, ouch. Last week we uh, formed a uh, green candle, so that's pretty good. Got six days and eleven hours. Now we have gone red, guys. But if you take if you zoom into this red red uh, candle here, this is more like a spinning top. It's more like a little doji candle, and it just means the market makers and the market doesn't know which way we're going to be going. So if we take a look at uh, itty bitty baby, itty bitty baby on the four hours done a huge jumpity jump jump. It's gone down about two point three three percent. So if we if we if we don't go if we do not get up soon, then my inverse head and shoulders is going to be invalidated, and we could be seeing that uh, you know Bitcoin could be going. Going back down to this level guys so hopefully hopefully if we bounce down to this level and we and we can hold this level then we will bounce up if we go below this yellow line then we're definitely going down back down to 196 guys 196 and us but i don't care because i'm going to be buying up the house guys buying up the house like a madman guys so let's take a look at the shibi weeby weeby in house now shibi weeby is still respecting my trend line lucky and we're down at 1095 guys so let's keep on keeping on if shibi weeby breaks down below this trend line then definitely we're going to be seeing ourselves going way back down to around about zero nine zero eight six five so hold on to the phone guys it ain't over to the fat lady sings fat lady sing it. and from that perspective so we're seeing breaking news voyager ju voyager just issued a notice of default to three arrows capital they're out of there uh, on a loan of 15.25 uh 15,250 bitcoin so about 350 million it's official three arrows capital has defaulted defaulted out there shame on you three arrows capital shame on you celsius uh, you know the, the the knucklehead mike malinsky who tried to skip skipped down and got busted at the airport and said get out of here you're not leaving the country you guys have caused one of the huge crashy crashes and also we got to thank our best buddy out there doquan rope on a soap brother and mike uh, mike uh, mike malinsky in the house who's going to be getting a free 24 pack from the OG, soap on a rope when you get incarcerated, incarcerated and be sharing the cell, guys. Hamana, hamana, ha. Ah, you know how that works, right? So let's get it, guys. Let's absolutely get it. So we're seeing Justin, uh, Justin, hedge funds have targeted Tether, borrowing hundreds of millions in loans to short USTD since Terra Luna collapsed. So we're seeing a lot of people shorting on the Tether right now. And that is why if you're holding Tether, watch out. Absolutely watch, watch out because if we could be seeing a Tether DPEG. So move your Tether to USDC. That is a safe bet, guys. Absolutely, absolutely safe bet. And another safe bet that you want to be doing out there is if you're holding crypto on exchanges or lending platform, I keep telling you time and time again, get your crypto off, off uh, exchanges, get your crypto off lending platforms. Get them onto hardware and software wallets, guys. You got to do that because in a bear market, when things go down and you know uh, platforms, you know uh, exchanges have liquidity issues, you could be holding the baggity bag bag out there, and you could be left with nothing. And remember, this is from uh, Michel, Michel, uh, you know my guy out there, and he's saying you guys got to read Voyager terms and conditions. And basically, in the event that uh, the customer Voyager or custodian become a subject to insolvency proceeding, it is unclear how the customer Customer, meaning your crypto you could lose it all guys you could be end up with nothing out there so guys do move your crypto to hardware wallets or software wallets and if you're looking for a ledger or a tracer go down there beep 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 check out my links guys and uh you, you know check out my links we got a link to uh, the ledger shop and i've also got a link to the tracer shop out there so check it out guys secure your crypto and if you if you know if you want to get a software wallet do that too uh exodus is easy uh trust wallet metamask mycelium there's a whole ton out there those are the three the four that i have used and have no problems guys because remember if you don't control your private key you don't control your crypto and they do guys read your terms and conditions guys absolutely read your terms and conditions it's it's important that you do that i can't stress how much uh it looks like uh, the peter teal back crypto exchange bit panda bit panda in the house is uh, letting go of about a third of its workforce so that is not good workforce we let go of the workforce 
could we be having liquidity issues next? We don't know, guys. We don't know. Hold the fork, guys. So remember, don't trust anybody with your crypto except yourself. Don't trust anybody but yourself. Don't trust anybody but yourself, yourself, yourself. I'm telling you, guys. So this is from Stock Money Losers in the House. And what he's saying is that uh, what a beautiful, ex exciting, on-chain data. Hollow waves indicate the end of the bear market. Weak hands have just left the sector. So we're seeing right now, if you look at the hollow waves, we're seeing that a lot of the you know short-term holes, they've been washed out. They've been flushed up. Flush like a big turn in the toilet, guys. And uh, now we're only left with the long-term holders. So it's up to the long term holders to weather the storm and keep on keeping on, guys. So remember, secure your crypto, guys. Secure your crypto. If you don't control the keys, you don't control your crypto. So it looks like this is from also Ali Morantz in the house. He's saying data shows that BTC must close above 21,820. I repeat that. Bitcoin needs to. Uh, uh, close above $21,820 to have a, have a chance of advancing further. Notice there aren't any significant supply barriers ahead. It also needs to keep the $20,800 as support for the bullish outlook to be validated. If not, like I just said, I just told you, right? I just told you like seconds ago that if we cannot stay above the 20,800 level, then we could be going back down below this and we could be going down to 19,000. So that is what Ali is saying. And I, he's saying the same thing, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. He's saying the same thing. So guys, you've got to keep an eye on the Bitcoin price. If it blows down below 20,800, 20, we're going down, dee -dee -dee -dee, down, down to 19,000. And then we could be going down to the depths of Hades down there. And uh, we could be going low, guys. Low, how low could we go? I don't know. But some people have been saying 15K. Some people have been saying 12K. I don't think, I think the absolute, absolute, absolute bottom, 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 absolutely, you know, under the sea, down to the ends of the earth, bottom is nothing lower than 10,000 guys. So I don't care. I'm waiting for life changing wealth and I'm going to be buying a dollar cost averaging every Thursday. I'm picking up a biddy like a madman. I'm waiting to 2025. Remember, I never invest more than you're willing to lose guys. So from that perspective, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at DXY. DXY is going down a little bit. So that is good. Hopefully that will go down to, we need it to go down to this level below a hundred. And if that happens, it's going to be help to take some of the sell pressure off the itty bitty baby in the house guys. So right now we're seeing that Shiba Inu is still respecting my line. It's just flash greeny weeny weeny so that is pretty good let's take another look at another gander at the doge so doge is still green but it's getting thinner and thinner that could be flashing red by the time you're watching this video guys so let's take a look at ethereum ethereum right now is dropped below 1200 bucks debbie downer situation annabelle the debbie downer bear is in the house ruling the waves and ruling the crypto right now get out of there you're out of there annabelle we don't need you anymore so let's take a look at the leverage apes and let you get out of here let you absolutely get out of minty refresh update 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 uh july 1st i'm going to bangkok guys so we're going to start doing some live streamies uh from uh, from uh, bangkok guys so you're gonna love it so right now we're seeing that the uh, leverage apes out there 167 million dollars got a recordy rick rick out there and that's 78,000. i mean the amount of records is light uh, considering the number of people that got wrecked we're seeing that on the one hour time frame mainly logs that's why we're seeing biddy going down guys so that is not good out there so we're seeing that overall it's uh it, we're seeing that a lot of longs are getting liquidated so the market Market maker is going to be pushing the price down, dee 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 da da down. So hopefully we get a reversal tomorrow, guys. So today seems like a really bad washout day, and we've got, we've dropped almost 28. 28 uh, we've gone from 950 billion to a 900 from 978 billion down to 950 billion out there so that's not good the volumes are kind of lighty light light and we're seeing the bitcoin dollars is also kind of the same where it was earlier and right now if we look at a carnage we're going to call it carnage right now we're seeing the itty bitties down like three percent and we're seeing that ethereum is out there uh, down as well 3.73 percent but we're still looking green on the seventh day we're seeing the uh, beast binance beast coin is uh, at down 3.77%. We're still up 8% for the week. We're seeing ADA is down on the week and down uh, today. So that's not looking good. We're seeing that the Solana want to want to go up. Let's get it. Is uh, you know down 10.42%. Is up 10.42% for the week. Excuse me. Bang, bang, bang. And but we're down almost five and a half percent. But the Dozier Wozier, Do Doge goes. Dozier's love and love is Doge. Dozier Wozier is holding up like a champion. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, we're still up in the green, guys. Up, up, up. But we're seeing 24.9%. Not too shabby for seven days. Woof, woof. And we're seeing that the Dottie. 
the dotty what what is going to be turning red on the weekly definitely not looking good today we're seeing the shibby wibby is crying up a storm and down 6.67 percent but it's looking good on the weekly 35.21 percent but it's going to give up some of those gains guys so right now it looks like the old coins are starting to bleed out like like crazy good time to pick up some good time to pick up some dip 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 remember don't don't you know, throw all your dry powder in at once. Ladder buys, ladder buys on the way down. Guys and gals, remember, none of this is financial advice. Just the OG in-house expressing his opinion, guys. So I have been expressed. I have expressed my opinions, guys. This is for educational purposes. So that's going to bring this video to a closey wozy wozy Don't forget to go follow me on Twitter. Guys, don't forget to go and boop the likes like a madman. Subscribe, comment, super chats would be um, very much appreciated. Go down there and view. check out the linky links. Check out the links. Be a madman and check out the links, guys. Uh, we got the Dogecoin tip jar becoming uh, become a patreon member buy the channel coffee and don't forget to check out the merch guys we got t-shirts we got mugs we got hats we got hoodies we got all sorts of stuff get the merch gear with the lg gear and don't forget if you do have chance guys go to the uh, home uh, the youtube homepage and become a member guys you get to have access to a private uh, whatsapp members group you're gonna love it i love it guys so from that perspective i just want to say to everyone be blessed go with god be with god have a great great day Good morning, Wells. Good morning, Wells. And market makers out there, don't spoil it for all of us out there. And remember, dollar cost average, hodl hodl. Move your crypto off exchanges. Move your crypto off lending program uh, platforms. Get your own hardware wallet. Get your own software wallet. Control your own private keys, and you'll be happy that you did, guys. So I just want to say, God bless each everyone again, and uh, peace out.